Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, we are going to check out another custom ROM for our Redmi Note 8. So this time we have uh, Cherry's OS 5.0 uh, based on Android 14. And this is one of the most ROM I have ever tried on my Redmi Note 8. So let's go find out why I'm saying that. So first of all, in the locked skin, you can change this shortcut as it is based on Android 14. And you can do some tweak with the Android lock skin like changing the clock and other things. So going with the disappointing part of this device, the fingerprint scanner doesn't work even there is no way you can put the fingerprint scanner there is face unlock which is pretty slow as you can see it takes long time even this is a pretty bright area right now i mean but still the face unlock takes very long time so as you can see it takes like two seconds to unlock so going with the device let's go to check the setting so about the phone so cherry OS 5.0 and this is an official rom Although it is an official, it's pretty much useless. I will not say anyone to install this ROM. I will say uh, wait for the newer update of this ROM if you're really fan of Cherry's OS. I don't really like Cherry's OS. Even Android 13 based ROM also, I, I didn't like it. In, that's why I did not make any video on this device, this ROM much. I did not put any kind of like effort on this Cherry's OS. It doesn't make sense. And also go to the security patch level. 2009 this one is the latest version of it 2013 11 0.1 and other than that nothing going on the setting value is different than usual and 14 based ROM as you can see it's quite different and I really like that and the UI is pretty smooth but as I said there are few bugs here and there with the ROM the Wi-Fi is connecting the Bluetooth is working those things are working perfectly fine in most of the ROMs going with the display you can do extra dim and other things here dark and one good thing about this device actually is that like the rom is that the i haven't found any kind of screen retention issue with from this rom and there is also like setting to calibrate the display i have done it i haven't found any kind of retention issue it's working the rom is smooth as you can see it's worked perfectly fine another disappointing part of this rom is that the rotation sensor doesn't work this is first time I have seen any ROM that the rotation sensor doesn't work. So you might think that the auto rotation is off. So as you can see, auto rotation is on and it doesn't work. I'm going with the brightness, auto brightness doesn't work here. So as you can see here, auto brightness doesn't work. So many things actually <laughs> it's not working in this ROM. Although it's it is a pretty new ROM. I, I thought this will be better than evolution x evolution x is uh like also not good in based on android 14 but android, if you go to android 13 based rom evolution x is, is an excellent rom this rom if you like install the android 13 based also you will like get a lot of bugs i tried it because i, I wanted to check android 14 based roms roms improved anything or not but find out that it is also pretty useless the rom is working just fine application does work perfectly fine there is no like a uh, force close issue or anything like that like i have found on evolution x rom rather than that it's working just fine and in this rom does come with two camera here first of all miui camera does work perfectly fine as you can see and sometime it's also like if you go to video section or something like that like the app close and also we have another gcam here which also works perfectly fine but usually i use this gcam which i have restored from my older rom does record video but whenever i take photos if i take photos as you can see the photos how it looks the photos does not work i don't really know why most of almost all the roms i have used on this device and i installed this camera it will work perfectly fine no issue so pretty much useless rom i will say and although um, i will not recommend anyone to install this rom but still i will put the rom link in the description below if you really want to install this rom you can install this rom but pretty useless rom so that's all about this rom there is nothing much to talk about the battery is working well as i said this is based on android 14 so everything is just like android 14 based rom there is nothing new so that's all about this rom thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time